Carlos Nelson with Cascade Sports. We're here at Blue Valley North, home of the Mighty Mustangs, and we have their head coach. Who do we have here? Ann Fritz. Hey, coach, tell our audience a little bit about yourself. And I like my coaches really going back to Kenny Garden and talking about some of the mentors that help you become who you, you are and some of your experiences. Let our audience know who you are. Okay, I'll tell you a story. I think it was in fourth grade, Cure of Ours private school basketball. Um, there's four seconds on the clock, and I hit a half-court shot to win the game. Guess what the score was? What? Three to two. <laughs> <laughs> so who's been some of the mentors uh, in your life? coming up and how did, how did you even get into coaching oh uh, i've always been involved with sports my dad was a coach a professional football coach and you know loved to sit around with him and watch football and, and what was his name vince costello he played Shout out from the baby girl vince he played for the cleveland browns on the championship team with jim brown and lou Groza and all those guys in 64 and so I've just always been a sports nut growing up. You know, my era, I played boys soccer because there wasn't girls soccer. So I was only girl on a boys team. And, you know, I just played tennis. I played basketball, volleyball, won two state championships at Shawnee Mission East in volleyball. Um, yeah, that's what I'm Played softball, about. went over to Canada for a summer and played softball. So what I just like, like – What was it like over in Canada? It was good. It was, it was fun. It was a good experience for me. Um, so it was, I was just all things sports growing up, and, um, you know, that's probably had a big influence on me is, you know, being able to handle the successes and the adversity of sports, and um, that's probably molded who I am. When did, when did you uh, start your coaching career? I started my coaching career directly out of college when I was 21, 22 at Center High School. What, what, what uh, college did you go to? I went to University of Nebraska. Oh, all right. Corn Corn Husker, Husker. yes. Uh, all right. Corn Huskers. Uh, what uh, have you? What's the difference in in coaching at a school like Center and here, and from f facilities, administration? And well, that was a long time ago, right. but I mean, here's awesome experience. Center was a great experience too. I learned a lot, um, and met some wonderful people that are still involved in my life. And um, you know, here's been an awesome experience. We have a great administration and tons you stole of support. My question, because that was my next question to ask you: How important? is it to have a good administration behind your program? It's always good to be surrounded by good people and, you know, try to, I just try to surround myself with good people and, you know, put me in a uh, position to be successful. Let me tell you this, Coach, I think I interviewed maybe 10 of your girls. Every last one of them never talked about sports with you. They said you stress, you, you stress education. Yeah, I mean, that's important, and, you know, it's that's number one. Boy. I'm like, most most of the people, they just be ball on the head. No, I mean, you know, I just, I, I know what's important in life, and, you know, my daughter played in the program, and, you know, a couple sons played for my husband, and, you know, I think because of academics and, you know, through the challenges of playing sports um, is what's made them successful also right now. All right, Coach. Uh, you shouting out to anybody? I'll shout out to Mike Kilbert over there, my new assistant coach who's been phenomenal to work with and learn a lot from him and love having him in the program. Uh, you got anything else to say? Anything else you want to say? Oh, to I'm just really excited for the season, and, um, you know, I feel fortunate to be around such a g good group of girls. Talk about, talk about your record. I forgot all about that. One of the girls mentioned. It just means I'm getting old, you know, when you – get older you break records because you've been around a while so yeah, your season this season what's your record this season we're six and oh right now yeah big time and look like you got enough girls and it looked like you got some monsters up under that board under the boards uh most of the girls say they're getting at it yep getting at it and you know we got a big couple of weeks some game big games come up Who the next you couple forward to play um i look forward to every game um brings new challenges and um just, you know, looking forward to getting into the heat of battle. This is the one of the last questions. I want you to talk about one or two of your young players that you think 
our audience needs to be looking at over the next two years? Well, we have obviously um, Logan Parks, who does a great job on the basketball court, standout volleyball player, won a state championship in volleyball last year. Julia Davis, who, um, who is a sophomore with a ton of upside and, you know, really – probably has dreams of playing in the WNBA one day and playing at a major college and just really improving her game. And same with Aubrey Shaw, who is another big time um, player who has a lot of upside and has dreams and goals to be a WNBA player. We were fortunate to go to a Columbia College shootout and work with Sophie Cunningham. And that was really cool for those girls get to meet Sophie and, you know, see her journey because it's something, you know, that they want for themselves as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, coach. It's a plum pleasing pleasure having you on the show. Thanks for coming out. All right. The program is brought to you by the Kansas City Business Association.